my Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 because it is possible to have something and not know how to use it and that thing you have that you don't know how to use cannot get produce any result for you I've said so much about faith this month that now at the stage we are in we should begin to now learn how to use it because you can have faith and not know how to use it Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 shows us clearly that God's people he says my, my people are destroyed for lack of knowing because they lack knowledge because you have rejected knowledge I also will reject you from being priest for me because you have forgotten the law of your God I also will forget your children my people are destroyed because they do not know so it's not having a thing that is important it's knowing how to use it just like what I say whenever I teach about marriage I've been married 20 going to 21 years now there is a know-how in marriage I think you're only 20 25 years there's a know-how if you don't know you think that marriage is just like I, thank God I've, I've achieved it there are so many things to know how to do hear me and I must tell you this truth 90% of children of God don't know how to use their faith and you must know that what you don't know how to use cannot work for you 90% of children of God don't know how to use their faith we had a victory at the Alebo church. One of our men went on an operation. Before the week before that operation, I met him on the way. I was just, I was around. So I was going, I met him on the way. And God said, talk to him. And I said, sir, the Lord said I should tell you that you will live to see your children's children. Look at me. <laughs> he laughed. Ah. I said, Papa, what happened? He said, I just came to tell you, I was coming to your house to come, come and tell you that if I don't survive this thing, I just want to let you know that uh, you have tried for me. Uh, I have a loving wife and I have loving children. I didn't know that the word that God put in my mouth for him touched him. He said, but now that you are saying, God said I will leave. It means God doesn't want me to die. Look at this. So a few days to the operation date, the wife called me and said, Daddy, I just said I should tell you, Papa is at home. Can you go and meet him? Uh, he's to resume at the hospital today. They will do some check before they will now uh, commence the surgery. So I went to the house to greet him, to counsel him, to prepare him to go for surgery. He said, Pap, uh, uh, Papa, no, what does he even used to call me? Daddy, Daddy, you told me that God said I will see my children's children. And since you have told me, I know I cannot die. I'm so sure I cannot die. I didn't need to talk much. I went back to, this, uh, to the school. After some minutes, I saw he came. I said, what did you come for? He said, I came. He loves anointing oil. I came to take anointing oil that I'm taking to the hospital. I said, Papa, you know what? I will carry you to the hospital by myself. But as they got to the hospital, follow me. My children didn't know what was happening. We don't discuss their issues. My daughter just woke up and said, Daddy, I, I said, what was that? He said, I saw a dream that, Baba, you came inside and you were telling us that Baba is no longer with us. Ah! I said, don't worry. I called my wife. Let us pray. They were supposed to operate him that day. But as the, uh, the consultant came, tested his blood, blood pressure. They said, if they do it, he will die. Because blood will not stop flowing. They sent him back home. Ah, 
I said, Lord, thank you. When they now rescheduled, we prayed together again. He still held that one word though. He went to the hospital after the whole thing. The day he came back, as they wanted to drop in, he said, my pastor said, I will use my leg, trek, enter my house. He said, drop me at the entrance of the gate. Ah, the gate, main gate. The taxi driver, the wife was saying, no, let's trek. He said, no, my pastor said, I will use my leg, trek inside. As he was trekking, Taizi was following him at the back. He was trekking like this. Taizi was following him at the back. He was trekking like this. Taizi was following him at the back. As he got to the junction of his house, he turned. They said, where are you going? He said, I must get to church first. I want to go and tell God, say, I don't come back. Ah. The wife was saying, Papa, Papa. He didn't even answer. He was coming. And I was at home. I was in the in the sitting room, I didn't want anybody to see, know that I was around. I peeped when they were opening gate. I saw him. I didn't do as if he went to the altar, stayed like 10 minutes, came back, was doing like this, and was trekking. You know that somebody just came out of so you know, and went back home. See, that scripture is true. The just shall live by his own faith if you don't have it somebody else cannot work for you so how do you use your faith let's go through it one after the other four points and I will close number one always remain positive in your thinking always remain positive in your thinking Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 is the scripture I want us to hold on. Always remain positive in your thinking. Always believe that your God is in control. Show me Philippians 1 6. Now I want us to read it together with confidence. 1, 2, 3 and let's go. It says, being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus. What do they call confidence in Yoruba? Yo shake it. Yo she a shake pari. Ko she a shake tiri. Ha! Those those people didn't know that the month of October was a tough month for us in church in the leadership. People didn't know. Accident of Mrs. Dixon. Accident of Brother Sunday. And the health of uh, Babanle Cream was lingering. But see, can I tell you this truth? You can never get positive results with a negative thought. I wrote here, a negative mind will never give you a positive life. Stop using your mind to process negative prophecies, negative pictures. Stop using your mind for it. That all you are doing is using your mind to think the negative. She mean the kubai. She mean the kubai. She mean the kubai. Are you sure I'm not going to die? You know, I didn't want to speak so much when I was speaking the first service because uh, uh, my daughter uh, here could be thinking one of our daughters who we buried the mom in the uh, in the in October. I am the mom's pastor. I was at the center of the battle. In the days she was sick, it got to a point she didn't have the will to live again. The money that was needed for her surgery, for her to be okay, we didn't know she had it. It was after her death that we discovered that she had saved half a million 
for the last born, say this one is for you. What is something called Toshi Kulumag Ben Yen? Don't ever agree that death is final, early death for you. Who told you you would die? Who told you you are a failure? Who told you you are destined never to rise? Those are voices from the devil. Yesterday, I was, I was going through the history of Toby Amushan. The whites call her Toby Amazon. Toby Amazon. You know, she has a world record in hurdles now. 12.12 12. 12. 12 seconds. She ran, jumped hurdles. She broke the world record. When she went in 2019 for the competition, she was disqualified. She, she didn't make it. In 2020, she tried. She dropped. She couldn't reach the final. It was in 2022. She broke record. Brought gold for the country. Now her name is on world record list. When she ran that hurdle, 12.5 seconds and won, there's a they put the seconds, she will come and stand. They want to take a photograph, so they will put it on the uh, Guinness Book of Record. The white man had to change the name. They couldn't call her motion. Toby Amazon. Toby Amazon. Toby Amazon. God will give you the miracle that will magnify your name. But hear me, you have to stay positive. Even if life is throwing negative things at you. Because we walk by faith and not by sight. That's what the scripture says. I will show you. People of God don't use their eyes. They use their faith. Because by virtue of relationship with, with God, we have discovered that our eyes don't see the right things that God sees. Sincerely. By virtue of our relationship and I work with God, I have discovered that most times, the things that God is saying, our physical eyes cannot comprehend it. Tobari gone mad out. Show me 1 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. Le gada basataya. Le gedebos. Sagada baskandayara. It's second, sorry, second Corinthians. Second. That's where it talks about walking by faith, not by sight. Let's read it boldly. One, two, and let's go. For we walk by faith, not by sight. What is faith? Assurance of things so far. Evidence of things not seen. What is sight? Reality. So which means faith is not real. Sight is real. How do you now say we walk by what is not real? That's where our issues, our, our Christianity used to confuse the unbelievers. Somebody is dying, you are saying it is well. So why are you saying it is well? Simply say the truth. So what if you go? But walking with God does not, it doesn't work that way. There are certain things we see that the physical eyes cannot see. You know, I remember counseling that our mommy that time. We were just talking together and I said, you know what will happen? I'll be able to raise so and so amount. I've talked to some of your daughters. They can raise so and so amount. Go to usage. Let them operate. You know what she concluded? I didn't lose any part of my body when I came. I won't lose it when I'm going. I won't allow them to remove anything from me. It's still negative thought. Be positive about everything you are doing. Are you hearing me? Don't give up on yourself. Don't ever give up on God. I, I, I had to post one of the, the speech that uh, 
our vice president made. I saw that some of you watched it online. I was touched. I love that man so much. He mentioned three of our musicians in Nigeria. He mentioned the one that spoke, uh, that sang Uga. What's his name? Hmm? Now, Chris Daniel, okay? Chris Daniel, Abby. Now, when he mentioned how much he sold with that song, even countries all over the world that don't know the meaning of Buga, I was shocked. He mentioned another song. I want to try to remember. That one too is a popular artist too. He said, that man has been given the tickets, is it last, last? Uh -huh. To come and sing at Qatar World Cup. Then he spoke about Asha. Her song sold millions in America. Now, those ones are worldly. What about you that are godly? You that have God in you. Madam, if anybody ever told you that you spent one week in Dubai before the end of this year, in January, will you ever believe? Ma? She said the life she had never spent, over 40 years of living, she spent it in one week. We walk by faith and not wait. We are second. We are second. We are second. So, what's how do you use your faith? Number one, what's number one again? Always remain positive in your thinking. Now, I wrote this experience, I wrote here. I want to say this because of you people. Many years ago, I got a dream. In that dream, I saw where I, I died in Minimoku. I saw where they put me in the coffin and they bury me. And in that dream, the person, somebody was now telling me that it will happen in 12 years' time. And that 12 years, I would clock 40, 41. I stood up. I got afraid of the dream because it's a dream that has a date on it. I prayed but my mind once a while used to go there that by 41 I might, might likely die. To worsen it, Reverend Chuk Abraham of Christ the living uh, rock tabana just called me one day. He said, Pastor Prince, I said, yes sir. He said, I got a dream of that you die. I said, I've seen it too. He said, pray. I said, yes, sir. I prayed. But any time that thing wants to come in my I rebuke it. Thank God that I didn't see my birth certificate. I only live by the year that my mommy told me. My mommy told me I was born 1976. So I was looking. I calculated when I was clock 41. I didn't know that when I was 41, I was even 42. It was my father's death. They were gathering property in his room. That one of my stepbrothers said, ah, Pastor, why would birth certificate here? Mwariki 1975, not be mini Makodi. Mwari 141, Mwari 41, 40, Mwari 40, Mwari 41, Mwari <laughs> but So Timba fair claim seventy six since I took the year off. He can claim eighty more. Today in Togba, we love our Kunye. Love our Irukiro. Let's go. Number two. How do you use your faith? Number two. 
discipline yourself to always speak only positive words. This one requires a lot of discipline. Discipline yourself to always speak only positive words. I've been mommy back. You know, easy. Oh. As you were walking, I was telling Mama, you called me really me. All your words used to make me laugh. I wasted your credit laughing. <laughs> See, the easiest thing to say in this life is negative words. Because that's the most common. That's what everybody is saying. It takes only the discipline set to be positive in, in words. Because the thing that appears mostly are negative. That's the things that you see in the sky. If you look at the economy of Nigeria, what do you see? Negative. If you look at the politicians placed before us, I don't see any positive one. Is it Baba that is 88? Or the other Baba that has been before? Or even the Igbo man? Wiki said, when I went to his house, that was when I know that this man liked better thing. He said it in his presence. He said, ah, you just say deceive people, say you don't like better thing. The kind of food way you give me job and the kind of way I drink for your house. And the way your, your parlor is, I see, say, this man, don't be through the talk, bro. he like better thing. It takes a lot of discipline to be positive. If there's anything that wants to find the expression easily from you, it's either you want to cry or you want to tell people your problem it takes a lot of discipline to reserve what you are facing. But that is the gateway and the lifestyle of faith. When God was showing me these things, I said, Lord, I did it. That's the lifestyle of faith. When Bishop David Oideko came up to say, I will never be poor. He said, I was very poor. He said, at first I was afraid. If I say I will never be poor, will the rich people around me want to help me again? So it requires a lot of discipline. Hmm? Because most times, your mouth will want to speak what your natural senses is saying. Your mouth will want to speak what the majority are saying. Your mouth will want to speak what the, your circle of influence are saying. But when you keep saying what you believe, then you will one day walk into it. When you keep saying what you believe, you will one day walk into it. When you keep saying what you believe, you will one day walk into it. When you keep saying what you believe, you will one day walk into it. When you keep saying what you believe, you will one day walk into it. If you keep saying, I will take care of my family, I will take care of my wife, I will provide food for my family, you walk into it one day. If you keep saying women are difficult, and look at marriage is not easy, you will walk into not easy. That's why, keep saying what you believe, not just what is happening. I told my wife this morning, I know she smiled. She laughed. And I know it was in the unbelief. I said, I'll just see what we can do to work on your passport and mine. I think we should just go on holiday abroad. She laughed. Laughing, Mama Keko didn't. But that's what I want to do it next year. Kintiafi stress, we can see like that. She came from Dubai and came back. She said, Nigeria is hell. I was listening to uh, Dr. Paul in Nenche three days ago. He said he went to Philippines. He 
He said, when he saw everything, he said, this is like heaven. How I wish our country. He said, as he was entering back to Nigeria, as the plane was landing, that he switched on his phone, the first thing that entered his phone, he said, Papa, pray, my brother, today is his wedding. They just kidnap him now. He said, what a bad welcome. Ah, Ninja. You know, we all don't have the power to decide the nation we come to. And the choice is Hello, Ditamir. Hello, Uncle. I will be one. Hello, Uncle. You know, I want the power that to change it. Oh my own to decide can you say me be more missing Nigeria? Whatever is need to, whatever is need to, whatever is one of this. So my download law will be common. So you can determine this for me is here. It will be so that is it. Because if by chance you go and find yourself in Kuton. You must look for a way to cross the border to deliver out. You don't know. Ah. Like my mega told me, Papa, I want my wife to go and deliver in my village. I said, why? He said, everything. And 5,000. I said, what are you in our operation? He said, no, go past 18,000. <laughs> so can you see, the timing is where I his baby will be born. Okay. Let's go to number three. Number three. Are you learning something? How to make use of your faith? Number three. Make moves that your faith prompts you to. Beloved, I want to show you this. Faith has prompting. It's okay. Nitori pe opolopo igba a ke tele la se kin ri yanuba My wife was sharing one of the testimonies of the women she, they will share it during the women conference I won't touch it That mommy I did like pre so and so and this is the result Yes she allowed herself to be what? To be prompted. You know what faith has? It has prompting. If I got me, on time, when you run, it's okay. If I got no money, it's okay. To move back, I say, Mama, thank you, Baba. If I got no money, I can remember. Ah, where is the cafe? I can still remember. It was faith. Mama spoke with her hand. Kilo, kilo, she one day, Baba, I go. He was touched. He came the second day, Mama already touched me. Femi de Kerue, who de Kurunle, and went to Brother Dami Lola's house. Brother Dami now spoke with the grandma. The grandma said, Ah, flat started the rent to my baby. And he told him, Femi, and he told him, Femi, lo my baby flat. And he lived there for some years before they asked somebody that would come and stay. Femi came back to Mama. Mama, we are here to pass the Baba Mio on the belly. Do you know you would have still been in his father's house right now? You wouldn't have been married. Most of you don't follow the prompting of faith. You are still waiting until you have one billion. It will work. Are you sure you are here? Listen. See how faith prompted the woman with the issue of blood. Mark chapter 5. Look at this. 25 to 30. Let's just read five verses out of it. Mark 5, 25 to 30. Now, a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. 
when she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, look at the prompting of it. If only I may touch the clothes, I shall be made well. Can you see the prompting of it? Can you hear Russo Kepi? To bad in four con is sheti arakuni pastor woolly to lawyer. Faith has prompting. Iba boni rusoke opolo poin oti rui rui e da ule she cool lutu kan. How did my own happen? When we after we got married, I see you should go and take food from my mother's house. At also Sammy. But this particular day I got there. Mommy, so in general, so food. We used to speak pigeon in our house. We don't get food for us. So I just entered the kitchen. As I took the cup of rice, I've, I took Lylon. I want to be pouring it. She just said, Pastor, hmm? because of this thing, what they do? Nobody force you to go marry. Hmm? Your sisters don't tell me, say, they don't go, they give me money again. The food, why they buy for, what did they buy for me? Now you, they can't carry on the job. The cup fell from my hand. It made the near amico was you. Who can you lie on there? That's what happened now. I said, Mommy, no need. Go take the rice now. I said, No need. I came down. As I was coming back, I was thinking. Not thinking to cry, Lord, show me the way. This is not a life. Truly, they are not the one that call me. They should not be the one suffering for my calling. As I got home, I shared it with my wife. She too started thinking about it. God gave us a way. How did this start? The house where we were escorting. My wife just got to the corridor and saw that ah, people used to pass here very well. She just left the house, went to my sister. My sister's shop. She sells her husband used to import shoe and bag. She talked to her, Can you give me some goods? I'll be paying you. That's how my sister gave her some shoe and bag. The one that she did not have anybody to ask for again. This one is here. Oh, uh, stock. Lord, display. She got to the front of the house and started displaying. I'm a best. Need a show and bag. As she was selling, she discovered that she was making profit. My wife said, When people ask, Hey, la shoni. That was how she started going to Abel Kuta to go and buy Kampala. She was displaying. Tell me about today. I to be the car. She bought that. She has shown you. Learn me. At the bag. Eh, you come back. You need to buy the berry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What's why based on Nora? I want Kara. Okay, okay. I'm at one room. Jemo. Hello, me. But when you're prompting, you should go and run. You know, go stand up. And you know why some of you are too proud. What your? You know, if as the faith prompted her. You say, I don't pass the person we can sell shoe and bag in front of our house. Shop, big brother, one ring girl. Oli Oli. A small. Abi? So, if you have this level one, A small. Glass. When I pass through that, A small. Some people are standing. They have not started seeing customer. Hello? Every week, my wife will cook soup for her. Because I followed the prompting of it. Look at what that woman said. It was from her, their house. So if you don't want to follow the prompting of it, Ushijoko, she stood up, went after Jesus and touched Jesus. Let's finish that scripture. He 
immediately fountain of blood was dried up and she felt her body that she was healed of the affliction wow wow and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had, we don't need all this one time has gone let's finish this number three if I quickly touch four briefly faith has voice most times people miss out of their miracles because they don't follow it just like what happened to the man that got a miracle when Paul the apostle was preaching Paul saw that he had the faith to walk the God's house project thing would not have been a reality today I wrote it here if I didn't follow the prompting of faith you know I came up and told you last year no, we have above two million in that account. When God gives instructions for something, it is the prompting of faith that makes you know when the time is right. Some of you companies are still, there are companies God has shown you, you are still waiting. It is the prompting of faith that makes you know the time. I was in a pastor's meeting last week when somebody called and they said, Sir, please, sir, uh, Charlie Ree, are there 100? Moloa. And pastor said, I'm not Pastor, are you into poetry? I said, I do poetry. They look at me. I said, It was a prompting that came four years ago. That when I do things like this, they don't die in my hands. My wife will remember those is when we're still dating. Even up to now, Jim Man will But who can cool over me? There's a prompting of faith that will tell you that you are you are overdue in that level. But some of you don't listen. When it comes, you quench it. May God speak to your heart better. Lastly, how to use, make use of your faith, number four. Even when you fall in your walk of faith, stand up and move on. Even when you fall, you stand up and move on. Do people fall in the walk of faith? Yes, they do now. One year, five months, uh, one year, four months, or five months. So my, mom, my wife visited her crutch, and I told the mom that my wife visited the crutch and prayed on her legs. She started walking already. Now. So my, the, the, one of her teachers said, Daddy, Daddy, See me, so they left her. She was doing like this. She was doing like this. See, be in your joy, but God knows she really here. Every me, what shubu? What that did they? Don't stay where you fell. Don't stop because you fell. You stand up. You know when I'm sharing practical experience, I'm, I'm practical. In my in my poetry this year, I lost ninety nine chicks. They died. They were dying. Those causes. I didn't give up. Because I sell for four weeks. When they come like that, I don't do I, my God, I'll just give him money, give them this, give them this, and I go out my own. Come back to check at night before I go back to bed. Check very early in the morning before I leave home again. When he was saying, Oh God in the die, oh God in the die, oh God in the die, oh go bury him. In business, you lose and you gain. As long as you don't announce your gain, you don't know supposed to announce your loss. But some of you, when you lose, you back out. You allow your loss to kill you. Say, go bury them. If you feel chopper, go chopper. I don't get fish. Let's say I will add fish to it. When they are dying, their death is good for the fish. When they were pricing the hundred that I have, sir, I said one millionaire last. 
nothing less. Is that what? That's well, it's caught the phone. It may not shack up. What she really knowing that is a work of faith. My children were asking me, and daddy, you said God promised you 25 copies in the square. I said, that's what we agreed on. Now, we are over. <laughs> First time. I said, that's what we agreed on. That's why I told my, I said, I'm going to fix the, the back now. Because I'm trusting God for 50 in the second time. my friend stand up again then you know what analyze the four pick the lesson okay this is what I didn't do right you know I didn't tell my wife when my chicks were dying I bought plain carton and I did not immunize them I didn't tell her. I said, I want to try unimmunized. Let me see. You know, you, you, you have to experiment. And why I have to experiment is because it is from the 100 I sold, I bought the 200. I plan to sell 100 to feed the 100 for Christmas. But 99 out of the 100 I plan to use for feed is what died. Now I've discovered I won't go for plain carton again. Sorry, you may not understand. But in everything I'm teaching you, I'm your pastor. Let's walk this walk of faith together. Are you hearing me? Let's walk this walk of faith together. Even if you fall, stand up. It's my wife that knows this song. I try to get. Play on, play on. Eh? Ah. I try to get the beginning of the song. I didn't get the beginning. But I wrote it this way. Hold on, hold on. It's not over. Is it that? That's the song. It is, it is when you give up that is over. Hold on to the Lord. Open up your heart Even when you fail It's not over What's the beginning? Don't give up Don't give up It's not over Reggae It is when you give up Yes That is over Ah Hold on to the Lord. Open up your heart. Even when you fail. Eh? Trouble not your heart. Let's take it again. Don't give up. Give up. It's not over. It is when you give up. There is over. Listen, hold on to the Lord, open up your heart, even when you fail, it's not over. Let's sing it together. Don't give up, give up, it's not over. I want to hear your voice, come on. It is when you give up, yes, that is over. Hold on to the Lord Open up your heart It is even when you fail it's... Wait, we are going to all sing it together Listen to the lyrics again Move on Abi, is that what we said? Oh, how did you start again? Remind me Okay, don't give up it's not over, does it? It is when you give up that is over. 
Hold on to the Lord. Trouble not your heart. It is even when you fail, even when you fail, it's not over. Let's take it one more time before we put the beat. Don't give up. It's not over. It's when you give up. Yeah, that is over. Uriola, hold on to the Lord. Trouble not your heart. Even when you fail, it's not. Jump on your feet and say it boldly. Don't give up. It's not over. It is when you give up. That is over. I say, hold on to the Lord. Trouble not your heart, even when you say it's now. I want to hear you. Let's go. Some of you are not singing. One more time, let me hear your voice again. Here. Let me hear this session. Let me hear. Oh my God, like that. Let's see how this lane. Don't give up. Are not sharp. Oh. Say it sharp. I want to hear the way you ask Shemilori an assignment. Oh yeah, say it. Number two. Number two. Discipline yourself. To. Number three. And last one. 
Now let me ask you a question before I pray for you and release you. Does it mean that if you have faith, you will not fall at times? Check But how many of you are coming for the first time? Anybody like